Hello everyone, it's Kara and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am coloring with Art X's brand new 24 set of pastel markers. In these next few clips, I am just showing off the case that these markers come in. It's a cute little wallet and it unfolds to reveal all of the markers. Inside of the pouch, they are all stored securely in these little pouches. As always, Art X supplies a swatch sheet for you. This is really nice and I love when brands do this because then I don't have to waste a sheet of paper and all of the numbers are already there as well as the colors. So I don't really have to do any work aside from actually swatching the colors. That being said though, I did end up losing the swatch sheet. Somehow I don't know where I put it, but you'll see later in the video that I have my swatches to the left of my drawing. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know what happened, but here's all the colors. And finally, getting into coloring today's piece. So, I drew this piece digitally. If you have been following me, you will know that I've kind of switched to doing digital line art. It's for a project I'm working on. This is one of the pieces for said project. You, you will find out what it's for soon enough, I promise. I, I wish I could just say everything now, but I can't. Because I knew that I was working with pastel colors for this piece, I decided to change the line art color. I decided to go full pastel, which means black line art wouldn't really work, now would it? And I decided that a nice pink would look really pretty. Now you might also notice that the word challenge is in the title. This is a challenge for me. It might not be for other people, but for me, it's a challenge to color with such pastel light colors. I am used to working with very saturated and deeper colors. I'm used to being able to go super deep with my shadows, but I could not do that here. To replicate shadows, I ended up using the blues and the purples. They just make things look, I, I don't know how to explain it, but they make things look deeper. So I used that for my shadows and then I used yellows for my highlights. It's just the cool tones look more shadowy and the warm tones look more like highlighty, if that makes any sense. And I did end up having to go over those shadows numerous times to really get them to stand out and deepen in color more. Something I love about alcohol-based markers is you can layer them over and over again to deepen your colors. So if you ever really want a deeper color, then just keep layering like I did here. Of course, you can only go so dark, but you know. <laughs> just wanna take a moment to talk about the markers in this pastel marker set. Uh, for anyone who might be interested in buying them yourself. If you like pastel colors or really light colors, this is honestly a really nice set. There's only one color in here, which I think is number 426. It's a deeper green, at least a deep compared to the other colors in the set, that I feel is a little bit too deep for pastel. And then another minor issue I have is that there are two pinks and two purples that are very similar in color in this set. But honestly, I don't really mind those two specific colors being so similar because I use those a lot in my art anyway, so I'm not going to really complain. But if you don't use those colors a lot, just be aware of that. Overall, I, I like this set. It's a very nice set. Um, I'm definitely going to be using these colors in the future. The colors blend beautifully together and they are also nice and vibrant. I love vibrant markers. It, I, I like vibrant artwork. I, <laughs> but yeah, there's not much left to say about that. Only time will tell whether these markers hold up or not. I have had cases in the past, only like one or two cases, where my artworks have faded because I know that alcohol markers are light fast, I believe it's a term. Which means they can fade over time, especially if exposed to sunlight. But as I've said, that has only happened to me maybe once or twice in all of my 13 years of using alcohol markers. Oh wait, no, not 13 years. 11 years. I got into alcohol markers two years into the art game, so yeah. Now, I have truthfully never had Art X markers fade on me, however, these are very light in color already, so I'm just going to watch it and I will keep you guys updated if anything were to happen. But as I said, it's not happened with Ardex, so I'm confident that this is not going to happen with their markers. At least, as long as it's not exposed to sunlight, which I don't keep my art in sunlight anyway. 
Okay, this hair is taking forever, so let's just fast forward a little bit. And there we go, but I did want to fill in one last little line just for satisfaction purposes. So here you go, me filling in the last strand of hair. I've got to be honest, I wasn't even halfway done with the hair on this piece and I was already in love with her. I love how the pastel colors looked on this specific drawing and I'm happy I did pastel over my usual like darker color art because it, it works. It really works for this piece. And then there's something I do at the end that just takes this piece to the next level and if you've been following my page lately, you probably can already guess what I've done. Um, but I'll just leave that for when it happens. <laughs> I wanted to use some of the other colors in the set, so for the planets I ended up going with the greens and like orangey colors of the set just to get those other colors in there and so that the planets didn't blend in with the hair. And now here is my obsession. Um, if you, like I said, if you've been following me, you know my obsession with these glitter pens right now. I've been doing full artworks, like full colored artworks with these pens. And I've been loving it. I've been loving every second of it. I want to do more. And I, I held back on doing another glitter piece. I've already done three of them. So I decided to color this piece in mostly alcohol markers and then just do glittery accents, which I think is something that you will probably be seeing more often for me in the future. I think that the glittery accents really added some extra depth to the hair and made it look a little bit more interesting, you know, added interest. And it's super pretty in real life. Um, there will be a clip of me showing off the glitter and sparkle, as always, it'll be at the end of this video. <laughs> For those of you who are interested in purchasing these pens, these are the Jelly Roll Stardust pens. They come in a variety of colors, they are unscented, and they are super glittery. On top of that, they don't seem to run out super quickly, like I've already done several artworks with these and they're still juicy as ever, so keep that in mind too. <laughs> While I am on the topic about materials, I do want to let you all know that I have a Amazon shop, um, I'll leave the link in the description, where you can buy materials I use. And I do just want to make it clear, because I have had people get mad at me in the past over this, I do not personally like package and send out the materials myself. That is all through Amazon, that's their thing. I simply just have a storefront where I kind of show off the materials I use and you can like easily buy through those categorized lists, if that makes any sense. So yeah, if you're ever interested in any of the materials I use, check out the Amazon shop. It's also always on my profile, um, I believe by my bio or in my banner area, so you can find it easily in the future. Anyway, we are starting to get close to the end. I'm filling in the yellow sections and I only did pink and yellow glitter. And as you can see, I did not fill in all of the strands of pink or all of the strands of yellow. Um, I wanted to keep some with just the marker and others have the glitter. The glitter is just a little accent piece, a little interest piece. And I gotta say, I'm really happy that I added it. If you have made it this far into the video, I have a question for you. Do you have any fun plans coming up here in the near future or maybe a couple months from now? As for me, I am attending Mitsuri Con in Columbus, Ohio, and I'm super excited about it. By the way, the glitter! <laughs> Here's the final product, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye! Oop, just one more thing I want to mention before I end today's video. So I spoke with RX, and they have supplied a 10% off coupon to their Amazon listing. This is only for the pastel set of markers, and this is what the image looks like, and this is where you're going to see the coupon. That's all. Bye.